Hey guys, the Cube Dude here. Today I'll be unboxing 10 random puzzles from the Cubicle. So selling random puzzles is something that the Cubicle does on their clearance section on their website. They don't do it all the time. Uh, they only do it when they have a lot of puzzles to send out randomly. And so they either have a $3 or a $10 option. So I purchased 10 of the $3 puzzles and these are lightly used or like new puzzles. And the puzzles are guaranteed to have a higher retail value than $3, which is what I bought each of them for. So. These are completely random, I have no idea what I'm going to get, and I'm pretty excited to get into it. So moving all of these aside, going into the first puzzle, we have what looks like to be a Guan Long 3x3. This seems to be the newest one, so let's do first turns. I know the Guan Long is a budget 3x3, and it seems to be pretty good for a budget 3x3. Right out of the box. It's a little bit louder than the average cube. And quarter cutting is okay for a budget cube. I know there are some super cheap 3x3s out there which are pretty much on par with all the uh, bigger 3x3s like the GAN uh, 354 or the Wheelong GTS 3M. But let's go ahead and do a quick solve on this. Alright, so not a bad solve, it locked up a tiny bit, but that's kind of what you get with the budget cube. So, let's move on to the next puzzle. Here we have what seems to be a mini 3x3, it's a 45mm mini 3x3 cube. Not 100% sure on the name, but let's get into this. Alright, so over here we have a stickerless mini 3x3. And it's, it kind of reminds me of the mini Zanshi. I know this is slightly bigger at 45 millimeters and that one was 42, but turning wise, this feels a lot like that mini Zanshi back in the day. It turns pretty good for mini 3x3. I think it turns a lot better than the Guan Long. Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick solve. All right, so not that bad of a puzzle. I don't really have a good use for mini cubes unless they are keychain cubes because then I can at least decorate stuff like a backpack or a cube bag. All right, so moving on to the three by three shape mods. It appears that we have a windmill cube, I think, if I'm looking at this correctly. Uh, we just have a standard Fisher three by three. And for those of you that don't know, a Fisher three by three is essentially a three by three turned 45 degrees and then this is turned into a cube. So all the edges are cut right there, and then this section is sort of glued on to right here, thus making this. So here we have the cross, and then here we have an edge, we have a centerpiece. Uh, so let's do first turns. It's kind of hard to do finger tricks on because of just the shape of the cube. Alright, so here we have the puzzle fully scrambled, and as you can see it shape shifts a little bit. So let's go ahead and solve this. Two hours later. Turns pretty well for a Fisher cube. And let's go ahead and get into the next 3x3 shape mod. So here we have what appears to be a mirror block 3x3 with carbon fiber stickers with blue plastic. So that's pretty cool. For those of you that don't know, this is essentially a 3x3 shape mod. And instead of colors, you solve it by shapes. So here we have this fully scrambled. Now let's go ahead and give it a quick solve. 2,000 years later. So here we have what appears to be a solved mirror block. However, as you can see, some of the centerpieces are in a different orientation. So technically, while it looks solved, it's not actually solved. So just like on the Fisher cube, you're going to have to rotate a lot of these centerpieces. So moving on to the next cube, we have not really a twisty puzzle, but we have a fidget cube. Let's go ahead and take a look at what these are. So here we have the spinny thing. Spins pretty well. We have buttons with these three clicking and these two quiet. Here we have a joystick, a button that clicks pretty well. We have these gears and this metal ball bearing which spins and clicks. So this definitely feels a lot better than other off-brand fidget uh, cubes that I have. Normally my favorite ones are this as well as 
uh, the gears. Oh, another thing I forgot is this little divot for your thumb. So here we have what appears to be sort of a damaged box, so that sort of is why they would put it in the random category. So this seems to turn pretty well, and the colors are pretty nice. I like the light blue. I've always been a fan of light blue. So let's go ahead and give this a solve. All right, that was a pretty quick solve. Let's go into the next puzzle. Here we appear to have a 4x4. I'm not quite sure on the brand. All right, so let's do first turns. So it's not magnetic, as you would kind of expect with a $3 random puzzle. But it's definitely better than uh, 4x4s back in the day, like the Shang Chef 4x4s. Seems to be kind of locking up and uh, catching a lot. Corner cutting is not the best. But anyways, let's give this a quick scramble and go ahead and solve it. I'm actually having trouble scrambling this a little bit because it seems to be locking up. 346 minutes later. All right, so there we have a quick solve on this 4x4. Not quite sure on the brand, but I'll be sure to have, uh, I'll be sure to go over all of the brands at the end of this video. So up next, we're going to do this Mofengi 2x2x3, which I've actually been wanting for a while. I've heard good things about this. So that's very, very smooth. So far, this is actually the puzzle I like the most. So this is a very simple solve, and this turns very, very well. It's very smooth and very satisfying to turn. So let's go ahead and just do the quick solve. So that is a very smooth turning puzzle. I highly recommend this one so far, but let's get into the last two. So here we have a skew. Not quite sure on the exact kind of skew. Skew is definitely not my best event. I don't really know how to finger trick it. Uh, instead, what I normally do is table my moves. If you've seen all my uh, competition highlights, but I do sort of know how to do an age perm. Now this, uh, while I'm not good at skew, I can tell what's a good skew and what's a bad skew. This is not the best skew out there. Skews are pretty cheap to begin with, so going with a budget one I don't think would be very smart. I'd recommend one of the uh, Chi Yi Wingy skews, I believe, the concave ones. Those seem to be very, very good. So at last we have an MF6 which definitely is worth more than three dollars. So along with Skew, if you guys have ever seen my WCA profile, 6x6 and 7x7 are the only things I don't have a mean in, and that's because I suck at both of them. I have the Shadow M right now, and the Shadow is much better, and I highly recommend investing in a better 6x6 as well as a 7x7. I know the Haze 7x7 comes out uh, either in a few days of me recording this, or if you guys are already watching this, I believe it just came out. Uh, but here, I'm not going to give this a scramble because it'll take me about five minutes to solve. Let's just go ahead and look at the color scheme real quick before we finish up with the video. So here we have a light green, light blue. I like the blue on this, and the rest are pretty standard. All right, so going over each of these, here we have the cube style carbon fiber pyraminx, which goes for $8 on the cubicle. Here we have the Chi Yi 2x2x3 for $6, the Mofeng Jiaoshi Cube for $7, the MF6 for $16, a Shang Shao Legend 4x4 for $9, a Fidget Cube for $6 but currently on sale for $1. Here we have a cube style mirror block which I can't seem to find on the cubicle but cube style puzzles go for around $6. Here we have the 45mm Mofang Jiaoshi Mini 3x3 which goes for $4. The cube style Fisher's, Fisher Cube for $6 and the YJ Guanlong Plus 3x3 which goes for $4. So if you total all of that up it's approximately $72, but since all these were lightly used or basically new, but not actually new puzzles, uh, they were all being sold for $3. So you got a pretty good deal. This was all about $30, and the retail value is $72, so saving more than 50% on all these different puzzles. Out of this entire order, the one that I'd recommend the most would be the Chi 2x2x3. This I've been meaning to get for a while now, and it turns very, very well. It's very smooth and this only goes for six dollars. I highly recommend this. I'll have links to all of these puzzles down below. I'll, I will also have a link to the page where you can buy random puzzles. Now at the time of watching this, I'd recommend giving it a click, seeing if it's available. If it is, I'd recommend getting some random puzzles for yourself. So with all that, if you guys enjoyed this content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of all my future videos. I hope you all enjoyed and thanks for watching.